Hello, Adeline and Laurent. Hello. I would like to ask you some questions. And the first one is, uh, usually classes program contains figures, features and uh, Kizomba routine. But you spend a lot of time to talk about the soul of Kizomba, about feelings, impressions, sharing in, into a couple. Uh, in your opinion, is it useful to give special classes about the soul of Kizomba? I give these classes, these kind of classes, for one reason, because when I begin with Kizomba, I take many, many classes with many, many teachers. And anybody, really anybody, uh, said me, take care of your partner, uh, take care of your position in Kizomba, and dance with feeling with your partner. It was every time a technical step, a movement, okay, one, two, you put your step there and there. It was very, very, very simple and very, very just a movement. But when I dance, the movement is not the most important to the dance, okay? And uh, I think it's very important to give this kind of classes. And I give these classes because I feel the Kizomba like that, okay? Yesterday in Saratov, we give this so, this kind of classes for this reason. It's, it's very really important because when a dancer don't know that, when a dancer think, okay, Kizomba it's step. He can't know, okay, take care of my partner, take care, can't think about this, okay. And when he go in the, uh, a festival and when the teacher give that. Maybe it's very simple, it's logic, okay? Mm -hmm. But not really because many girls say to me after these classes or after another classes in another country, going send me, Luan, it's very good because the dancer uh, for no and science no, take care of position and not block me, not, it's very important. Uh, sometimes we don't, we dance and we don't take care about that. Uh, care about the position, about the posture, and about the, the everything, little detail in Kizomba. It's very important for that. And I think everybody uh, who learns Kizomba uh, have to give at least one class like that. Thank you. Uh, Russian Kizomba dancers don't use uh, solo often. They keep solo. Solo. solo yeah. In uh, Kizomba, they keep ladies into their hands and lead them uh, permanently. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Is solo important and necessary in Kizomba or is just a feature? Uh, it's not necessary in Kizomba, okay? But I think it's more fine to use this technique solo, understand? Because you can vary your step with solo movement, okay? Me, I can dance solo, I didn't can dance solo. And when we dance together, it's more fun, okay? And when I dance solo, I, with Adeline, okay? Dance, dance, and boom, I dance solo. This is just a variant, and with your eyes, you can see a movement different for make a difference between maybe another song and a new song, you understand? Just the time of one or two time, and again, we start to dance. How, how you learned Kizomba? I danced Kizomba since two years, okay? But at the beginning, I was a little baby sample Kizomba dancer, just to dance Kizomba. And with the time, I became a technical dancer and feeling dancer and mix the feeling and technical in the dance and work my expression, work my... Uh, my, uh, my Kizomba dance, my posture, my, my technique, my expression, my, um, my uh, musicality, and very, very other um, thing in Kizomba. But if you want, for example, know how long time you, you have to work Kizomba for big, became a very good Kizomba dancer, this is not, uh, we can't define, define, define this uh, with the time. It's with the time of work. You understand? If you work your Kizomba 
every day, five hours, hours per day. In two months, you will become a very, very good dancer in Kizomba. This is just the, the mindset of you see the Kizomba and you watch the Kizomba and the direction you take with the Kizomba and your work. Each good dancer has uh, his or her personal style in yes. Kizomba. And sometimes styles of uh, some popular dancers are seen very different. Uh, what is the criteria of a right Kizomba, a good Kizomba? How to, uh, there, is, there is not a right Kizomba. Every Kizomba is good. When you dance on the music and with your style, it's Kizomba. Not white Kizomba, it's good Kizomba, bad Kizomba. No. Everything is Kizomba. After that, you can appreciate this Kizomba more than this Kizomba, for example. It's possible. It's your choice, your flavor. You understand? Mm -hmm. You can choose, okay, I want to dance like this. And another person, I want to uh, dance like this. Okay? This is like that. But if I, I can give you an advice, when you dance Kizomba and when you learn Kizomba with a teacher, if the teacher say you, okay, Kizomba it's like that and the other dancer is not like that, just to say, okay, okay, this teacher is very not a dancer because every dancer is different and it's good, it's fine for the evolution and various on Kizomba, okay? If a teacher said you it's Kizomba, it's like that and not like that, it's not a teacher. A real teacher said you it's Kizomba, my Kizomba, my style. Find your style, okay? And uh, another people have um, their style, okay? Them, the, the, them style. And me, I, I'm my style. You find your style, okay? And in Kizomba, in Salsa, in very, very, very any dance. Okay. And what dancers should do to find their own style? Own, own style, yes, I understand. For uh, a dancer, find uh, his whole style, it's very difficult, very hard. For me, it was very hard to find my style. You can find your style in the style of another guy. You understand? You can, at the beginning, copy. Mm -hmm. And after copy, create your proper movement, but in the same style. It's possible. It's very, very hard to create your style, different of the other style. Often, the style is a mix of many styles. Okay? For example, I can just take that for the, the, from him, for, from him. Take that from him, take that from him, and this is my style. But this is a mix of one, two, or three styles different. You understand? Uh, at the beginning, you can do this. I take that, I take that, I dance. And after, try to find your own style like uh, into that, okay? Into your dance with the style of other person, into your dance, you find your style. And when you find your style and when you find what you like in the style, work, work very hard for develop and create your pop style, to your own name. style. Yeah. Uh, the program of the Salat of Kizomba Weekend French Kiss had been changed a few days earlier. Uh, and uh, you give 12 hours of classes yes. by two days. Have you uh, similar experience when you should uh, take uh, give classes uh, yeah. for someone else? Yeah, yeah. I never, uh, I never had this situation. Okay, I already um, give uh, ten years, ten hours of Kizomba class, but it was scheduled. Okay, uh, on uh, three days. Okay, Friday two hours, Saturday four hours, and Sunday four hours. But it was not a problem because in my city I give uh, classes every day. Okay, every day uh, until Sunday and Thursday. Okay, and 
it's not a problem. It was not a problem for us because we have many, many, many things to share and give a student. Okay, it's for that his classes. It was not uh, his movement, movement and movement and twelve movement. No, we have very, very many things to give for people Kizomba about musicality, posture, take care, technique, okay, feeling, and another uh, just uh, figure, you understand? Figure, and many, many things. And uh, when we have 12 hours of Kizomba, and you can, you, you saw that, his uh, workshop, it was delayed, you understand? Because we have very, very many things to share with you, and in how, how pedagogic, we need to all the students win the movement and have the movement. You understand? It's for that. It's for that. It was not a problem. Just a little tired, but it's okay because when you, when you love something, when you love, and we love teach, when you love, the tired don't stop you. Okay? And no, it's okay. Maybe in one hour. <laughs> but okay, okay, it's okay for us. It's okay. Uh, it's the maximum um, hours who we give in one week. But it was a very good, great experience because no, we know we can do this, do it. Can you explain in uh, one phrase what Kizomba mean for you? In my world, Kizomba is the way of I can express me. And Adeline too. Adeline can express her in Kizomba better of in with the dog. You understand? And we can translate that at the people around because we walk our way to dance, our way to communication with other with the movement in Kizomba. For me, Kizomba is not Kizomba. It's not Kizomba. For me, Kizomba is dance with a partner. Okay? It's like a language. Mm -hmm. Like a language. Yes, language and a dance. Not dance Kizomba. Just dance. Okay? I can dance on every music Kizomba. You understand? Kizomba just because the music is Kizomba and the bass of the dance is Kizomba. But for me, in my world, Kizomba means a language and just dance, move. Don't dance, je, uh, I dance Kizomba. No, dance just to move and just to, okay. Well, sometimes I'm in the floor with a girl and the music is very slow. I don't dance. I just uh, during maybe one or two minutes because just to move, just to dance. It's that I communicate with my partner and I share with them something, good positive emotion, good positive vibes in the Kizomba, but not just for tell you that for a beautiful world. Really, in the floor, I am like that. And I think to communication in the Kizomba, don't just a beautiful world. Really, really like that and really, really mindset like that. Okay? Okay, thank you very much for the interview and for the classes. Thank you, you. <laughs> And I hope to come back here soon for maybe next year, soon for you for it give your class. Yeah, it will be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.